Hey, what's happening everybody? It's Adam here from GIS Express and in this video I'm going to show you how you can create and update your feature layers in ArcGIS Online via Microsoft OneDrive. For this example I'm going to be using an Excel workbook that has a few cafes scattered throughout Ireland. Uh, so you can see here I'm in OneDrive and I have my you know cafe name, category, this is coming from a point of interest or a POI. Uh, data set. Most importantly though I have latitude and longitude here uh, and then I have a formatted address. Now if I just go in I have uh, 80, 86 rows within this Excel sheet so I'm expecting 85 points to be geocoded in ArcGIS Online when I go to create my feature layer. So let's get into it. Once I have uh, my Excel sheet ready to go I can go into my content and so I go to content, my content, over to new item. You can see here I have a few different options. I can, you know, of course, the, the you know, the, the most popular way, the most common way still is adding data from your device. We have a few options as well. In this video, I'm going to cover Microsoft OneDrive, but you could also use Google Drive. You can use Dropbox as well. I'm going to use OneDrive. The first time you do this, you're going to be prompted to sign in with your username and password to your Microsoft account. I'm not going to do that because I don't want my username and password shown in a video. So I've already just signed in. Just bear in mind your first step is to, of course, sign in. The very next page you get, though, uh, is this new item up the top left. And you can see here we have four different file formats we can add from Microsoft OneDrive. We have CSV. We have Excel, which we'll be working with today. We have zip files, so if you have a, a shape file or a file geodatabase, you know you can you can zip it up into a zip file and uh, add it uh, from OneDrive as well to your AGOL account. And you also have GeoJSON. So I know that my one is an Excel sheet, so I'm going to go to Excel. You can see here that I have different options. I can search, which is pretty handy, or I can view more as well, just depending on how many you know, content items you have within your OneDrive account. I know for a fact that my one is called Cafe. So it's an Excel S, uh, Excel S X form, <laughs> right? So I have it here, I have Cafe. I'm gonna click Next. And from here on out, bar one or two buttons, it is the exact same if I was adding this from my device as well. You know, so I get the I get the question, how would you like to add this file? Well, the first one, add the the Excel workbook and create a hosted feature layer or table of it. Perfect. I want to do that. I have the option then, uh, as with any feature layer that I'm creating, I can go in and I can you know change around the uh, the field names. I can make them all, you know, and um, Capitals at the start and I can just say address I can change the actual display name of it and so these are the field names I can change the alias I can change the type as well if it is if it is wrong and um, I can change it in here like I can with any feature layer that I'm creating and of course then I have different options right so I have addresses or place names or longitude and latitude now because my column names within this Excel sheet are called latitude and longitude ArcGIS Online automatically picks it up and says, this is my latitude field, this is my longitude field, so I don't need to do anything there. And just click next. Uh, I can give it a more meaningful name as a feature layer. I can give it a tag as well if I need to. And of course, I can give it a summary as I can with any feature layer that I've created. Once I hit save though, so that's gonna take across. So I'm expecting, um, what is it, 85, yeah, 85 points on a map. The first one is gonna be a row, so that 86 minus one, 85 points. I'm expecting to be geocoded here. I'm gonna give it a second to load up. Once it's finished then, I can click on data. So you can see here I have 85 points on a map, perfect, with all my uh, updated field aliases. The field names remain the same. I can go into fields and see. These, these field names are coming exactly from my uh, Excel workbook. They've added in object ID automatically when you do uh, add any kind of CSV or Excel workbook to ArcGIS Online. It adds an object ID. It will also add a global ID as well. Uh, but I do have display names here then. So there are my field aliases. I can click on my visualization tab. 
You can see what's what's going on with this data set. And if I click on a point, I get the pop-up information about. Okay, that's cool. So that's how I add, um, that's how I, I create a feature layer from an Excel workbook uh, via Microsoft OneDrive. Now the question then becomes, well, how do you update it, right? Um, and there's a really good trick for that. And it's a really handy way if you have kind of, if you're working on projects and you have like non-technical people working on your projects, it's, it's actually really easy for them to go in, you know, to ArcGIS Online and, and update um, this, this feature layer without having to select files, make sure the field names are correct and all that stuff. So let's say for instance, for, for this example here, right, I have 86 rows in my in my Excel sheet. If I if I actually delete this this last one here, all right, so I just delete it. And OneDrive, it's in the cloud, it's saved automatically. Yeah, so if I if I refresh this now, I just have 85 records, so I should have 84 points. Okay, so, so it's worth noting this Excel sheet here, if I go back into my data, it's not a real-time link between OneDrive and, and ArcGIS Online. I still have 85 cafes. In my Excel sheet, I have 84. So it just depends if you're having like daily cuts of data, weekly cuts of data, monthly cuts of data, you know, or, or at, at given intervals uh, that you need to update this data. Provided the field names stay the same, so right, so like I'm, I'm keeping these kind of same five fields, right? I can't really add something onto it here. If I go in here, go to overview, go to update data, and up pops a few different options. The same four options I have if I were updating this via a, a file. Uh, on my on my device right on my laptop uh, so I have add features update features add and update features what I can do what's really good about this is I can overwrite entire feature layer from Microsoft OneDrive so you can see here with add features update features I click on next and then I get the option to okay I, I bring my own file to it what's really cool about the OneDrive an AGOL connection for creating and, and updating feature layers is that I can say overwrite entire feature layer. So that if somebody's updated this Excel sheet in the background, which I've just done, I've just deleted the last point on it, right? Reducing my number of points, hopefully down to 84, that they can just come in and click overwrite entire feature layer, sign in and overwrite. It's gonna sign you in. It's going to overwrite and hopefully we get a little green uh, message right a uh, green pop-up to say overwrite successful if that's overwrite successful you should now have 84 points so if i go into data now and there you have it i have 84 points and um, i believe the one we deleted was called neonet and you can see here that is now gone. Market, Barbers, and Cafe is the last row we have. And Market, Barbers, and Cafe is the last row we have in our Excel sheet. So really handy way, really good workflow. If you are working with people who are, you know, maybe not au fait with ArcGIS Online, this is a really good way that if you say to somebody, look, you might have to press a couple of buttons in ArcGIS Online. We can do it, you know. I know this really good guy on YouTube has a really good video on it, right? Um, but if you are working with people and you just say, well, you just update data, go into overwrite entire feature layer. Now, you know, you need to make sure there's time gaps between overwrite entire feature layer, right? Because I think it's it's 15 minutes or whatever it is. You know, it's, it's not an instantaneous overwrite every now and again, which is one limitation of it. But... For the sake of pressing a few buttons, all your kind of non-technical people have to do is maintain an Excel sheet. And then they can go in, or we can go in quite easily and update this data set and, and go from there. So that's how to create a feature layer from Microsoft OneDrive in ArcGIS Online and also how to update it and maintain it as well. I hope you found this video useful. If you did, 
get any kind of value out of this video and appreciate it if you did subscribe uh, or you know please do share share these videos um, with your colleagues with whoever you think might get benefit from it and um, you know we have one tutorial coming every week so you know do subscribe try and stay up to date on uh, what we're doing we have a lot of more exciting videos planned if you want to reach out to me my email address is adam a d a m at g i s hyphen dash express dot com i'll leave it in the in the description of this video if you want to reach out to me please do um, but hopefully that helps you on your gis travels uh, this week um, and best of luck with it